What's going on YouTube? It's your man Sand from the Mars and Mass channel. Now today I'm bringing you something different, which I really don't really do the curiosity photos. But uh, this is curiosity, um, I think this is Soul 574. Now these are brand new images that came down uh, just either today or yesterday. And uh, they're pretty interesting. Uh, I was just looking over some of the images and I noticed uh, a couple of things. Number one, the first thing that I noticed, as you look over here in this uh, quote-unquote outcropping of rocks, uh, you notice that there's a lot of, uh, I guess you could say there's a lot of activity going on. Um, you see everything is just pretty much covered in dust. But uh, if, you, if you look, there are a couple of anomalies that just stood out to me, so I figured I'd go ahead and throw a video and see what you guys think. Um, the first anomaly that I wanted to bring to your attention, let's go ahead and uh, zoom, and I'm not going to go ahead and zoom into it too much because of you guys with your tablets, and uh, I know that I have to accommodate for that as well. But if you go ahead and look right here, let, as you can see here, this doesn't. This looks like a rock, but I just thought the shape of the rock was a little unusual as you can see here it looks to be a rounded 90 degree angle and it looks to have a rounded um, curvature or like possibly a uh, gully for something this could be a mechanical part or it could be an artifact and um, from the from the looks of it it looks to be like a mechanical part believe it or not because I will base it off of these other three anomalies in this photo as you can see on this side here you have a lot of these big as pixels that NASA likes to throw into the photos the JPEGing or artifacting whatever you want to call that but um this is the first anomaly which I thought was weird and the second one here this is supposedly supposed to be a rock but yet it comes up and then comes comes to a point and out comes up and it's probably joined at the center, probably like if you can imagine like a Y shaped, but it is bent down. So it could be metal, it could be um, a bunch of different things. So this is the reason why I bring you these anomalies is to, to get your feedback and your opinion. There's a lot of anomalies on this one photo, and I'm really curious to see what happens when the rover gets close to this this background here right next to the mountain it, it looks weird because they're sending down a lot of different photos where you can see a lot of different colors um, the majority of the new colors that I'm seeing is is like a green so it could be an infestation of bacteria or it could be that it's water but yet you know they're manipulating the crap out of these photos so that's another that's another story for another video um, the second anomaly was right over here and like always guys I will leave the official link to this photo and the other photo that I'm going to show you in the videos description so you guys can check it out yourself um, there's an there's a couple of things here that just don't look right you know and the main one of focus here today is gonna be this one now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can play with this image a little bit First off, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my layer, and then the second thing I'm going to do is actually throw an adjustment layer on it. If you guys notice a cut in this video, I did have to restart my Photoshop. It did lock up, but anyway, um, I was saying that I'm going to go ahead and throw an adjustment layer in here so you know you guys can possibly see more detail. So, um, you know what NASA does, they like to distort the crap out of the photos, I'll say it in every video, you know, that's just what they do. Anyway, there's another anomaly in this photo that I wanted to bring to your attention that was a little peculiar to me as well. So I adjusted that, um, let's get rid of this, that really wasn't really necessary, but um, let us go and see if we could possibly adjust the exposure because the exposure I mean there are a lot of things that NASA it, they they look like they they adjust and and distort the crap out of these photos in a particular way where if even if you wanted to pull out some details you really can't because of the way they're JPEGing the crap out of these photos but that's alright 
you know if you don't have Photoshop there are other free uh, software titles that you can go ahead and download or use on the internet that will give you the same effect so back to what we were talking about here I wanted to make this darker and there you go alright close that off now the second anomaly in this photo is this one right here check this out guys I don't know what to make of this thing okay because this is just weird let me get my pointer as you can see here this thing it looks to be like uh, a tail of something but yet you know what let me turn this layer off it looks to be a tail of something and I don't know what that is but yet it looks as it's it's narrow here and it gets wider and if you look right here it looks to have like a edge like if it's flat on the top here but yet it looks to be like a maybe two to three inch like a uh, ledge but yet this thing looks like it's got like a a bottom here and it looks to be connected and there's something right here let me see if I can go ahead and sharpen it for you guys no I don't want to do that let me go ahead and see if I can bring out some details and as you can see it does work fairly well but yet I don't know what to make of it because I've never seen anything I mean like I said in my previous videos there's this is Mars this is not a planet that we are familiar with you know and as you can see from the details that I tried to um, you could see it it looks very weird I'm not sure if it's a mechanical part I'm not sure if this is well it looks to be either a structure or a mechanical part that it's just not it just doesn't fit the scenery I guess if you want to say that what other thing that struck me as abnormal here is this this is just a flat plate of something and this is of course the bottom side but yet on the bottom here you have a lot of different um, line movements you could see it goes up and then down up and then down and yet this thing looks this could be like a fossil or something I'm not sure what that is but the main focus of this photo because what I pretty much wanted to bring I was looking over this photo and I just couldn't figure out what this thing was but maybe you guys can help me out and tell me if if it looks familiar to you guys because I don't know what that is this is it reminds me of like a spaceship believe it or not even though I'm I'm pretty positive that's not I'm just saying it looks like one of those sci-fi fictional like mini spaceships that you can see here's like an eye or something but yet I don't know what that is it kinda of looks like a fishtail but you know not saying that's what it is but you know that's what it looks like um, so it was that anomaly there give me your feedback in the comments section because I have no idea what that looks like and then you have this anomaly here which I thought was weird and as you can see it does continue down here and then this one this one kinda looks like if you guys are familiar with monkey wrenches because I was I'm an ex-plumber so I do know what they look like and it looks like the top of a monkey wrench which this could be very well this could be a mechanical part of some sort but if you look around this photo there are a bunch of different things here um, which I can't make out what they are this struck me as a little weird I don't know that possibly looks like a little somebody standing up there watching the rover I don't know but you make your own judgment and that's what this is about um, the second photo I want to bring to you guys is this one. Now, I do believe this is Sol 569, and this is Curiosity as well. There are a bunch of different anomalies, but like always, the further out you get, the more distortion NASA brings to the plate. So, let's go ahead and zoom into the anomaly. Not too much. I'm going to go ahead and back it out because I don't want to distort it for you guys. Uh, somebody had commented that I zoom in too much, and I understand that I should be more careful. You guys are using tablets and phones and such. I should be more aware of that. Now, um, if you can see it right here, let me go ahead and sharpen it. It's really not much you're going to get out of this because this is weird, okay? I don't know what to make of this. This in the beginning looked to be like some, t some sort of carving of something. And let me get my pointer out so you can see it. But this looks to be like a big, big. If you look, if you ever watch um, Deadliest Catch, that looks like one of those king crabs. You can see like this is the center body part of it, and you have a leg here, then you have a leg there, and a leg there, and a leg that comes out, and everything that just shoots out of the side. But in the center, it looks solid. 
okay and like I said there are n plenty of anomalies in this photo you can see up here I'm just gonna go ahead and sharpen what I think was a little weird you have a lot of uh, like squiggly lines and movement where it looks to be you know out of shape it just doesn't fit the bill I guess if you want to say but there are a lot of anomalies in these new photos and like always NASA just doesn't give you any kind of clarity in any kind of their photos so it's just a little upsetting that this thing if it wants it can take a billion pixel view of land and uh, microscopic images but they just don't want you to see what they don't want you to see and that's just pretty much it I mean a lot of people are saying this that you know as we get closer to this mountain I mean guys you just can't deny it anymore they're just in your face now you know everything is just in your face like you really can't deny these things that they just pop out and almost bite you sorry for the zoom guys um, they just pop out and bite you so if you guys leave me a comment below like like always guys I'm going to leave this official link to the official to these photos in the videos description and you guys tell me what you think now there are plenty of new photos that just came out so go check them out before you know more manipulation starts but I, I just thought that was weird in the background here you can see in a lot of these photos now you're getting a little bit of clarity in the front because there's nothing but the main things that are now what we call anomalies are in the back and they're blurring them out and fuzzing them out and uh, JPEGing them and putting all these big pixels in and you can't expect anything less from that because this is NASA that they're, they're just not gonna disclose any of this information to to us you know so we got to keep hunting we got to keep fishing for these things and to me it's fun so that's pretty much it guys you know you can go check out these photos for yourself I'll leave the official link in the video's description thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next video guys later